Well, on the other side of the fence, this time from the BJP, it's the first formal admission that there is internal strife and tension within the Delhi faction of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Party Delhi Chief Satish Upadhyay has written a letter addressed to the party cadre asking them to forget their grievances and ensure the party's victory. Upadhyay has asked his party men to stop bickering and work for the victory of the party under Narendra Modi. He also warns his party men that if they miss this golden opportunity, it may not come back for a long while. So this is the first categorical admission of dissent within the Delhi BJP. I want to go straight across the headlines today. Ankit Tyagi. Ankit, uh, you know, before this, it's been in the realm of speculation. The fact that there's panic, the fact that there's a rebellion within the BJP and how uncooperative the Delhi BJP is being. Satish Upadhyay, with this letter, has basically put a stamp on everything we've said here on headlines today, that there was a real problem, that Delhi P BJP was extremely angry with everything that had happened, and they were simply refusing to work. So this is a confirmation of everything we've said. Absolutely, Shiv, and it seems that the problem is still persisting. They, have, they, they are trying to find solution. That is why you see this uh, massive exercise by Amit Shah to get almost the entire cabinet of Narendra Modi uh, to make sure that they win. Uh, also very interesting, this letter, if you go through it, uh, it's, it's, it's also admitting to the fact that uh, uh, they are uh, losing ground to uh, the Ahmadmi Party. Satish Upadhyay is saying that uh, this is a golden opportunity and if we miss this, yeah. uh, we were not going to get it again. So it, it, it also shows the desperation and uh, within the BJP, they do not uh, want to let go of this opportunity and that is why you see this entire massive movement uh, from the central leadership. We have also been told by our sourceship that uh, um, because of this internal bickering itself and because of uh, the Kada, the daily BJP Kada not coming out in, in enthusiastically behind Kiran Bedi, that um, RSS uh, uh, leaders and pracharaks uh, from, uh, from other states who do not have any stake in Delhi yeah. have been called in to make sure that the door-to-door -door campaigning does not suffer because of this. Well, you know, the, 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 the ironic thing about all of this is that, you know, it comes just about a week before, uh, you know, the election actually happens, uh, Ankit. Very short time. We've all seen how the, you know, the BJP, the central leadership has pretty much bet the farm on this election. They've got 19 ministers campaigning. They've paradropped Kiran Bedi into this election to lead the campaign. They've got 120 MPs going door to door. They've got over a lakh workers from 13 states, uh, you know, actually, you know, conducting the door to door campaign on the ground. So the BJP in Delhi had very good reason to be completely sidelined. So this letter is a confirmation of precisely what that anger was about as well. You know, a lot of people within the BJP, especially in Delhi, are not happy, Shiv, with Kiran Bedi being imposed on them as a chief ministerial candidate. Uh, they believe just about, uh, you know, uh, the Kiran Bedi announcement came about 10 days back. Uh, so they, are, they believe that they have worked for the entire year and suddenly their share uh, now has been given to Kiran Bedi. They also believe that if BJP wanted to get in Kiran Bedi, they should have got her uh, and made her uh, fight on the, the BJP ticket, but probably should not have announced her as the chief ministerial candidate. Her, the way she is functioning is also not going well within the BJP. That is why not only the Delhi BJP has been sidelined, uh, sources also tell us that Kiran Bedi has been asked not to speak much or interact with the workers. That is why, as you see, Kiran Bedi, uh, many people are calling it a gag order, although she says that uh, she, uh, she has uh, uh, you know, infection in her throat and that is why she is not speaking. On the other side, if you look at it, uh, uh, the Ahmadmi Party and the Congress rubbing their hand in glee, they believe that this internal bickering would be enough uh, to sustain them. Ahmadmi Party, Yogendra Yadav, uh, leader, I spoke to him uh, earlier today and he said that uh, it seems that everything that the BJP is doing right now is backfiring on them. It's a free yeah. fall and very little time for the central leadership to salvage that situation. Uh, seven days to go when these letters are flying Will this make a difference? Will Satish Upadhyay trying to marshal uh, the emotions of a very disgruntled and angry Delhi BJP uh, make a difference at all? Remember, from all sides, the allegation is that the BJP is stumbling near the finish line. It's panicking. It doesn't uh, enjoy the usual abundance of confidence that the BJP has had over the last year heading into elections ever since that mammoth victory in the general election. It gets more interesting with each passing day. That letter first, an exclusive here.